Hey folks, thanks for dropping by Kaiser's Castle today. Uh, grab a seat on my big orange couch and uh, grab yourself a coffee, tea, soda, or adult libation. Have some interesting, funny things I've noticed of late. I did take a month off the internet, barring the show I do on PSN, and that was just Skype that I use there. And the funniest thing that I've seen is something has developed with this um, Wuhan type thing that everybody, you know, gets banned off of about talking about. But there were side effects. The dehumanization of wearing masks. Myself and Kimmy talked about that last night. Another interesting facet of this thing is it's increased people to stay at home. With this staying at home, we've seen a rise in domestic violence. We've seen a rise in just people being alcoholics, drug abuse has skyrocketed. O ODs have killed probably almost 20% of what um, nationwide of what the whole Wuhan thing has more than. But of course, if they have any trace of antibodies, it's going to be called a Wuhan fatality. Well, that's just kind of funny, but everybody is already divided into tribes. I notice it's ridiculous and retarded, and everybody is also listening and staying on their social media. That's something that I was seeing trending, and that's why I got off, to break my mind and to go back to reality and get out in the mix and go do things that I needed to do out with my brothers in the meat space, the real world, IRL, baby. Stop your LARPing. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. Take your goddamn mask off. Here's my point to this entire rant. I am seeing a development on both sides, on every side, of people becoming, and don't think I think that I'm not guilty of it. Of course, I have a YouTube channel that I voice my opinion on. And I'm not going to stop doing that. Because it is my opinion. I'm the foremost expert of one thing, and that is my own opinion. Nobody else can be a better expert than I am on my own opinion. But I'm an expert in nothing else. Here's my point. I've noticed a narcissistic, um, delusional thing that people are going through and everything's about me me my my us us or not us us and we we see that's a problem as americans we've never had that it's always been community now i'm not going to go down a conspiratorial conspiratorial rabbit hole on this i'm just going to say it's something unique and new and of course it's going to happen this is the fucking digital age this is what people do it's a whole lot of mental masturbation and bullshit. And what I will say is that can manifest into the bizarre world of both everybody on the left and right to the extremes who believe in accelerationism, all this other horse shit, and uh, whatever, you know, civil war, uh, sticky wet masturbational fantasies. You guys do not know what, unless you're military, you do not know what civil war looks like. Uh, I've seen it up close and personal as well as other people have. I'm no different and no better and no worse than any of them. But you are worse because you have this fantasy. You think everybody can re respawn, that you're not going to um, die forever. No, you're going to die forever. And there is no rest in power. That's bullshit. You, you say rest in peace out of respect for all dead. It doesn't matter who they are. Even my enemies, when I've gone to their tomb, I've actually knelt and said a prayer at their tombs. So I don't want to hear the horse shit about taking away history and all the other shit. Here's my greater point to this. Is that it's time to get out of your bubble. Make yourself uncomfortable. Listen to uncomfortable speech. This is the time where you need to do this. Because right now, factionalizing, especially over a stupid fucking election. Listen to me, folks. This election is consequential. We are taking a clear choice. We're either going to be a communist state um, or we're going to be America. And I don't care what side you fall on. Capitalism has its problems, but communism has killed way more than all you people who think that... Uh, Hitler killed and Hitler was a national socialist by the way so he was socialist he wasn't a capitalist he wasn't a fascist you know you, you, you talk this shit you don't even know research your history um, anyways I'm not getting into the depths of this bullshit 
but it is bullshit. Trump's not Hitler, neither is Biden Mao. But what is a problem are the ideas that the far extremes both push. And the, it's ridiculous. It's retarded and just mellow out. Your neighbor's not your fucking enemy. When you start thinking that, and neither is the police and fire department. National Guard, your soldiers, your sailors, your airmen, your marines, really, they're your fucking enemy? They're your sons and daughters. You better never forget that. They're your fathers and mothers. So shut your pie holes. Get back to reality. Stop this bullshit that you're pulling. Because it doesn't make you sound educated. It makes you sound like a complete and utter moron. That's my opinion. You can take it or leave it. This is a short rant, but it had to be said. With that being said, the intro song, as always, Axion Ghost, it's game time. And never has it been more game time than now. Cool your jets, go take a walk in the woods, unplug your devices, and unplug your mind. Have an enjoyable day with your family, and shut up and get out of the house. This is self-imposed, and it is self-imposed, because if you everybody left their house today, nobody could enforce fuck all. Go out and fucking shake hands with people. Stop living in fear. Fear is the thing that destroys you more than anything. I'm done with this rant. And with that being said, thank you for stopping by Kaiser's Castle. I will slowly raise the drawbridge as you meander out with your coffee, tea, soda, and adult libation. With that being said, shuff out.